Good afternoon, tech fans. Welcome back once again to the channel. I'm Eric, your host. Now, a lot of you guys may know that the Apple iPhone 5 came out, and a lot of you guys were talking all kinds of shiznick saying, and I was a sellout. Well, guess what? I'm about to prove you fracking wrong, because I just changed from T-Mobile over to Verizon. For one thing, honestly, T-Mobile has some shitty fucking phones, and they wouldn't upgrade me. All they've done is basically dick me around for years and mess with my service and give my mom and me both crappy phones. So that's about it. So that said, I switched over to Verizon and I got two phones. For me, I got the Galaxy S3. That's right here. You guys all know about this one. 1.5 gigahertz dual core processor, 4.7 inch screen, high resolution. Basically supposed to be one of the fastest phones that there is out there. So this is my box. I'll flip it around the back. You guys can see it's the Verizon model. Now for my mom though, I actually did get her an iPhone. So I know you guys are gonna hate on this, but check it out. One thing I've really discovered is that anything from Apple is really just made for people who don't like messing with stuff. If you're a person who likes overclocking, tinkering, you like messing with stuff, you're a PC user. If you just wanna touch something and don't wanna mess with it ever and just use it, you're more of an Apple person. My mom's kind of old and she wants something simple. So I got her an iPhone 4S. Hey, it was 99 bucks. Cameron's been using it for years. It's always been a good phone for him. But we're not talking about that phone today. We're going to be talking about this one. So with that said, let's go ahead. I know it's been out for a while, folks, but let's go ahead and do the unboxing and show you my new phone. You guys are always asking about my personal stuff, so here's Elric's new personal Galaxy 3S in white. So let's go. All right, folks, so here's everything you get when you subscribe to a new two-year contract with Verizon. You get the Getting Started Guide. You get the phone itself. Inside the Getting Started Guide, you can see that it says everything you need to get started is inside of here. The activation guide, the customer receipt, and the SIM card for compatible devices. So I'll go ahead and pop this open. You can see right here, it has before turning on device. It has the read the activation guide, so it's basically telling you how to do your phone. You get your receipt, all kinds of stuff. If you have an old phone, they give you FedEx stuff to send it back, ship it back. Most importantly though, inside of here is my SIM card. So all this instructions and kind of stuff, it's all good. Here's the activation guide for your 4G LTE phone. Here's all the instructions. So go ahead and close that up. Let's go ahead and get out the SIM card. I knew I should have brought a sword for this thing. Wouldn't a sword have been good to undo this? All right, so here it is right here. Here's my little SIM card. Here's a little start here thing, probably gonna give you instructions. Now let me pull this thing out. Here is the SIM card, it's right here. So I'm gonna go ahead and just pop this little SIM card out. This is what I'm gonna be inserting into my phone. So let me set that down. And then let's go over and let's actually do the phone. So here's the outside of the box, we saw that earlier, so I'm not even gonna waste your time really with that. Just go ahead and try to get the box out and start going. So there we go. Let's see how this thing goes. Pop top. Pop the little cap here. All right. Kaboom. So here's the top. Let me go ahead and just pull the phone out. So here's the front of the phone. See one control here. Other controls are here. I'll go ahead and remove the back of this. Take this off. Here you guys can see the back of the phone. Verizon 4G LTE, Galaxy S3. Front camera. See it's even got built-in flash. It's kind of crazy. Got a couple more pieces of plastic here. I'll just go ahead and remove those off the camera. So before I put the SIM card in, let's see if what else came in the box. So there's nothing in this one. Go ahead and get stuff down. Here's all the accessory kits. Okay. Here's the Galaxy S3. Here's the start here guide. If you need instructions, it's going to be there. We're going to have a wall charger. Get that out. Here's the wall charger. Going to use USB cable, which comes included as well, which is right here. 
Here's the USB cable. Looks almost identical to the one that I did on the iPhone 5 though. The cable looks almost exactly the same packaging. Hey, it's probably the same factory only like you guys know Apple throws into a $75, you know, upgrade charge on it. So basically this part right here is going to plug into your phone. You plug it into your phone, plug it into the charger, plug it into your wall, or you can use your computer and plug it into one of your USB slots. Some computers actually have really good powering for external USB. Gigabyte motherboards have it, Asus motherboards have it. So you can check that out. I'll go ahead and unplug that from there. Last but not least in the box, we have, what else we got here? Okay, we've got the battery for the phone. Let me go ahead and get that out of here too for you folks. So here's the battery, Samsung battery. Damn, now I've got a Samsung microwave, Samsung toaster, rice cooker, TV, DVD player, Blu-ray player. Damn, I got a lot of Samsung stuff. <laughs> so here's the battery in all its glory. And then last but not least are the headphones. Let me get these out of here for you folks. You can take a look at them. They come with an assortment of different earpieces right here you can see. All kinds of different ones for different size ears so you can get your comfort zone. Here's the plug, the two headphones. Yeah, cameraman can just show my head real quick, look. They feel pretty comfortable. So let's get that out of the way. So that's all the stuff that comes in the box, folks. So now let's start to take apart the camera and start to put the battery and everything into it. So basically, folks, to get the back of the camera off where your stuff, you want to insert your fingernail up here on top. You just kind of gently pry on the plastic. It opens up. So here's the back end of it. I have two things I'm going to be installing. The battery, which is right here. So I'll go ahead and put the battery in. And then I'll put the SIM card in. Get the SIM card back up here again. All right, folks, and then last but not least, we have the SIM card. And you're gonna to wanna to make sure you put your SIM card inside your phone. So all you do is just do this and slide your SIM card in. It's very nice and simple. So now the SIM card's in, the phone's ready. I'll go ahead and put the back back on. You guys can hear it all crinkling back and forth there. All right, folks, now I've turned the phone on. There's an on button here on the side. I turn the phone button on. And so now the phone is turning on for the first time. Pretty cool looking, huh? I'm liking it. All right, so I speak English, I think. So I'll hit next. It's activating my phone, as you guys can see. It says activating. Hopefully it's not a nuclear freaking bomb and I'm gonna blow up here. But if so, blame it on the droid, as they say. All right, folks, so that's it. I took you all the way through the unboxing, through the setup of the new Galaxy S3 using the people over at Verizon. Thanks for watching the next video. I got a really nice case. We're gonna stick that thing on here next, so see you tomorrow.